in my right hand here, I'm holding a 99.9999999% pure silicon. That was nine nines. Uh, so it's very pure. And the reason it's so pure is because it's made out of a gas. And uh, in, in something that's called the Siemens process. And to produce this silicon costs about 25 kilograms per pound. Per kilogram. Sorry. 25 dollars per kilogram. Right. Uh, the end of the day. <laughs> so uh, that uh, uh, that is the core uh, starting material for most of the industry. And typically, the way wafers are made out of this is it goes into a furnace and uh, it's recrystallized, and you get the large crystals that give you the required electronic properties. Then it's cut into bricks. The bricks are prepared for slicing and then it's cut in wire saw into these uh, 200 micron thick wafers. And, and this is the, st the industry standard, 6 by 6 inches, 200 micron thick. But this is an incredibly capital intensive and very difficult process. It takes 8 hours to cut a wafer like this. And, uh, and in the process half of the silicon is wasted. So you go to all this trouble to make this very pure silicon, you make these beautiful large crystals, and then you, you've done a ton of work, and then you waste half of it. You throw half of it away. So the, the brilliant invention of my technical co-founder, Ellie Sachs, you know, fearless technical leader, is to melt the silicon and in one step go to an industry standard wafer. Hmm. He does that in a machine that has uh, the potential to do 10 megawatts in one furnace. And so that is, I mean, in comparison, 30 times more production than the, uh, the string ribbon technology that he invented for his uh, PhD thesis. Right. So you have, you have really fast production. And we actually did this on a small scale. We haven't scaled it up yet, but we did this. And this is exciting. We pulled this wafer directly from the melt in seconds, and wow. it was just a, a, a wonder to witness. And uh, we are already making, a, we made a cell with that, and we are already making uh, cells that have an efficiency that's higher than any of the commercial thin films out there. So, I mean, it's very promising technology, and that led to the uh, RPE award. And then the RPE award, as you know, immediately led to more, more commercial funding.